up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. My name is Josh Bridges and you join me again in the same car park where we did our baseline performance testing. Except in today's video, we've added some hardware, we've added the ITG induction kit and the Voodoo Stage 1 flasher to the car. So I'm very interested in finding out exactly what times this can produce. Now in the last video we had an average of a 7.25 second to 60, however those eagle eyed viewers out there did notice that with the one foot rollout which all the manufacturers quote in their 0 to 60 times, I was actually slightly under Ford's quoted time of 6.9 seconds. But with that in mind we are going to stick to the times that we did in the last video purely because it's going to be a direct comparison. So again we're going to be doing a 0 to 60, a 30 to 60 and a 20 to 70 miles an hour test. This time we'll be able to find out just how much of a difference the induction kit and the stage one tune does to this car but please do bear in mind that there are four different tires on each corner of this car which doesn't bode well for full throttle starts especially now we've got more power under the bonnet aside from that the conditions are the same the fuel level is the same everything is pretty similar to when we did the test before but without further ado i'm going to jump into the car we'll talk a little bit about the stage one tune and how i feel it's been since installing it onto the car and then we'll get straight into some draggy runs but before we do if you do enjoy this type of content remember to hit the like button subscribe to the just the driven youtube channel we've got loads and i mean loads of content planned with this fiesta and i'm so excited to get started with it and this is just the very beginning So guys, we're in the car, I really can't wait to get started with this, but I just want to talk about the Voodoo Flasher. Now I've had the Stage 1 99 ROM file uploaded onto the car. The car hasn't yet been on a dyno, however by the time that this video is released, it may well have been on one. And if it has, I will put the dyno results in the description box and I'll pin a comment in the comment section as well. Now just in terms of the way this car puts the power down, it's so much more aggressive. But when you're driving normally, it doesn't really feel any different from stock. It's just when you start getting into that boost range that it really picks up and goes. And to be completely honest, I was absolutely blown away at the performance of this car once I'd flashed it. But without further ado, I'm going to get Draggy set up, I'm going to get the other camera set up, and we'll get out on the road. So we're just about in the right spot, ready to get started with it. We're going to do three runs and hopefully we can get each of the different things we're looking at in each of them runs. So from 0 to 60, 30 to 60, 20 to 70 miles an hour as well. I'm going to experiment a little bit with the traction control. It's currently in a sport mode. Um, if I feel it's going to be a little bit better completely off, then we'll turn it completely off. However, I think for this purpose, and especially because of them tyres I keep talking about, sport mode is probably going to be a bit of a sweet spot. I'm just going to wait for the traffic to die down a little bit and we'll get started with the first run. Right, we're getting ready for the first run. Let's get drag it to zero and go up. <laughs> that felt good. We span a little bit at the beginning, but I short shifted into second and we just gripped and went. Now, we're just comparing to last week when I did the stock figures, that felt a hell of a lot stronger really really strong and i'm very very impressed with that okay guys so i couldn't help but pull over just to look at these times so the 0 to 60 was a verified 6.8 seconds it was 6.5 seconds with the one foot rollout which is pretty much half a second off just on the first run now the 30 to 60 miles an hour previously it was about 4.5 this run it was 3.83 on nearly a one percent slope which is quite uphill when you're looking at draggy the 20 to 70 miles an hour is where it gets very interesting and that tends to be generally where you're driving on a day-to-day -day basis now the last time it was very equal to the 0 to 60. i think on the 7.24 0 to 60 run that we did the 20 to 70 was around 7.2 now the 20 to 70 on that first run was 6.3 seconds and that was on nearly a 1% slope. I'm very very impressed with that on the first run and we did spin a lot. The last times when we were doing these tests I found that the best times that we've got was the ones that felt the slowest. 
So the ones where we sort of rolled onto the power and felt like it bogged down to begin with. I really, really didn't expect such a big difference on the first run. I'm here worrying about traction, and as you could probably tell in that little bit of a clip there, we did struggle a little bit in first gear, but as soon as we hit second, it gripped and just went. I've got two more runs to go, and what I'll do is I'll round up all of the figures at the back end of the video, just to save you guys from hearing me waffling on and on about how much I love this car now it's been tuned. So stay with us and I'll catch you at the end. So considering that last run was so good, we're leaving traction control on in sport. We're just about to roll out now into the road. Let's get Draggy to zero and get ready for the second run. <laughs> that felt good. I'm <laughs> It's amazing how good this car makes me feel. And we short shifted into second again, but I felt that like that one was slightly quicker. I also love how much induction noise we get from this ITG. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera. Incredible, incredible. Now we didn't get to 70 mile an hour on that particular run but that was just a bit of a test for me because I know you can just about hit 60 mile an hour in second gear however I was unsure as to how much difference it would make between the time of shifting and also the time of actually hitting the limiter but we'll have a look at that in just a second. Christ almighty, wow. And I've just seen one of them zero to 60 times and I am absolutely pumped to tell you guys about it. I genuinely cannot believe my eyes. That's how good it is. Do you know what? I've just pulled over and I've just noticed that this camera here, the one that normally faces out, was all the way back. So I'm sorry if that just got absolutely lost but it's just the power of the Fiesta. <laughs> but anyway, we've done two more runs since the last time I was speaking. The first one, the zero to 60, believe it or not, was 6.29 seconds. The second run that we did, which was unfortunately unverified, was a 6.14 seconds to 60 miles an hour. And again, there is no actual one foot rollout on here, but that would definitely being the 5.9s, if not the 5.8 seconds. Now, what makes for some really interesting reading is the 20 to 70 mile an hour times. Now, one of them here, which I've got, is a 6.08 seconds, and that was a 4.31% slow. And the last time we were doing this, it was doing it in 7.2, 7.3, 7.25. So that's over 1.2 seconds knocked off 20 to 70 mile an hour runs just with a stage one and an induction kit, which my mind is absolutely blown. So for that run that was verified in 6.29 seconds to 60 on a minus 0.88% slow, the zero to 60 with the one foot rollout was six seconds dead on. Dead on six seconds, which I genuinely couldn't be happier about. I think officially Gas did a similar video to this and I think he was getting around 6.5, 6.4 seconds and to say that I've got six seconds here, that is truly incredible. Okay guys, so I've managed to find the rollout time for the 6.14 seconds run that we did, and it was 5.82 seconds. That is mind blowing for a little Fiesta with approximately 200 wheel horsepower, something like that. That is incredible. Now these times are completely down to the tune that the guys over at Voodoo supplied for this car. If you wanted to find some more information on it and you wanting to get it on your car as well, go check the link down in the description and the guys over there will look after you. I really cannot stress 
how happy I am with the performance of this car, considering it's just had a simple flash map and an induction kit. The times that we got the best ones on were where we just rode it out in second gear. Rode it out in second gear up to around 60 miles an hour, banged it into third then, and then we headed up to 70 miles an hour. But it does seem like the best way to get a zero to 60 time with the Fiesta is just to ride out that second gear all the way to the limiter, all the way to 60 miles an hour. Now I've just sat at the side of the road and I'm wondering just how good of a zero to 60 time will we get if we have better tires on the front and the rear. Of course, I mentioned it earlier and plenty of times throughout this video, we've got each individual tire being completely different and none of them are really performance orientated. There's no Michelins, there's no Goodyears. So I reckon with a Michelin Pilot Sport 4, an F1 Eagle Super Sport or an Asymmetric 5, that we may hit under six seconds, zero to 60 on a stage one Fiesta. And that would blow my mind, absolutely blow my mind. But anyway, I hope you guys can see just how excited I am by the results that we've had today. If you want to keep up to date with the dyno runs, with any other draggy runs that we do, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, keep up to date with what we're doing, and oh, go follow us on Instagram because you see a lot of our content on there before you do see it on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching. I'm absolutely ecstatic at the results of today, and I'll see you in the next one.